Hello everybody, don't mind me, I'm just sitting here, chilling in my hyacinth uh, flower field. Um, welcome to Komodo Crossing, and today I am going to be showing you all the tips and tricks that I know about tools in this game. So anything you might have questions about, anything you might not fully understand, I'm going to hopefully be covering it in this video. So let's get started. First of all, we shall go on to the DIY page because it has them all listed here, all nice and neatly for us. So the first one we have are the axes. So there are four different axes you can buy. You've got the flimsy axe, the stone axe, the normal axe, and the golden axe. Now, the flimsy axe you get right near right at the beginning, and it only requires some five, well, some five tree branches and one stone and it will break after 40 uses so that was quite an easy one to make um but like i said after 40 uses it's not very good and also it does not chop down trees you can get wood from them up to three pieces of wood after that it doesn't do anything the tree still stands it does not chop down same goes for the stone axe however this one because it's got a bit more durability it's made from a flimsy axe and it's made from three wood that is three regular wood it lasts a hundred times which is far more useful and a lot of time if I just want to collect wood from my trees in my town and I don't want to chop them down I will use a stone axe that is what I highly recommend and then the normal axe like I said requires a flimsy axe some wood but then also an iron nugget now this one again it lasts the same amount of time as a stone axe but after the third hit or on the third hit even the tree will fall down and you'll be left with a tree stump so you so yeah the axe is the first axe in the four collection that will chop down a tree now if you are lucky enough to have the golden axe recipe and the way that you get this i believe is you have to have broken 100 axes um it took me a while it took me many months to get this but it is um worth having once you have it and it does only require one normal axe and one golden nugget and it does last a few hundred times without breaking so yeah it's still kind of annoying to people think that the golden um equipment should never break but to be honest i've had a golden axe recipe for several months and i think i've only had to make two in that time um obviously depends on what you're wanting to play with the game how many trees you want to chop down but honestly it does last a very long time and is very handy to have and then the next one we have is the shovels so you can get three different shovels well technically four different shovels in the game you got the flimsy shovel which only requires five hardwood and it lasts 40 uses which is quite handy um, in an emergency it can be quite good to use um, however the next one up is far more longer lasting and requires one flimsy shovel and one iron nugget and lasts 100 times um, so this is quite a handy thing to have um, I probably the most common shovel that I use and yeah you can then also if you go to um, Nook's Cranny once it has become the larger version of Nook's Cranny and not the small version you can buy different types of colourful shovels, outdoorsy shovels and they may look prettier, they may look nicer but they don't last any longer than the normal shovel so really unless you're in a rush and you can't be bothered to make a normal shovel there's really not much point buying um, the different shovels they just look a different colour that is literally all that matters with them it, they're not any better really at all uh, and then the last one is the golden shovel uh, now this one it requires a normal shovel and one golden nugget and uh, it lasts 200 times now that, again is very good it's uh, doubled the uh, durability of the normal shovel and the way to get it is you have to have helped Gulliver 20 times um, I believe it's 20 times if anyone wants to fact check me on that that you know feel free to do so but that is I believe what happened eventually you know when you help him and you know when you help him the next day you get a letter with a present what happened with me is he sent me a letter saying wow you've helped me so many times here is the DIY for a golden shovel and there you go that is how I got my golden shovel and I only acquired this a couple weeks ago and I've been playing since June so obviously you know it took me a while but it depends on how many times you spot Gulliver I guess of how quickly you acquire this one and the next we have the fishing rod so one of the first tools I think you learn in the game and you have the flimsy fishing rod now this one only requires five branches and if I believe correctly it lasts I think 
10 times yes it lasts 10 times it's not great if i'm honest with you it can be really infuriating when you're going out there and you want to catch many fish and it just breaks on you um it's not great but in an emergency it's very effective um however the next one up from that is the normal fishing rod which requires one flimsy fishing rod and one iron nugget and it doesn't just double the durability it triples it so you've got 30 use from this fishing rod which is very helpful and then um the next one along from that is the golden rod now what like i said before with the shovels you can buy colorful and outdoorsy um, fishing rods uh, from the nooks cranny um, but very much like the sh normal fishing rod they don't last any longer than 30 so i personally don't really buy them that much unless i think it's a pretty particular pretty color i guess sometimes the um little um i can't remember what they're called the the i guess it's almost like the little boys on top of the um when you put the fishing line in the water it looks like a little like rubber duck which is kind of cute um but apart from that there's not really um any benefit to it practically i apologize if i got the wrong terminology with calling that little thing on the end of the fishing rod a boy i know that's what it is but i honestly can't think of the name right now but yeah so the last one is the golden rod and you acquire this one it is a very difficult one to get once you've caught every single fish species in the game now this one um i was very lucky to get um because i was able to go to other people's islands i actually did not time travel in order to get this one i know some people do that's their choice but i actually would go to other people's islands that were in different hemispheres different uh times of the year in order to catch all the fish and it has 90 uses so it doesn't Again, it doesn't double it, it triples it. So you've got 90 uses of this golden fishing rod and it definitely is worth it if you want to get that. I highly recommend putting the effort in to get the golden rod, but it's not for everyone and that's fair enough. Now, uh, next you have the nets. Now, once again, you've got similar durability with the different stages of the nets. So the flimsy net, again, only has 10 uses bit frustrating but you only need to use five tree branches so it's not a lot of effort so it makes sense it doesn't last that long and then next on from that you have the normal net so that requires a flimsy net and one iron nugget and it has 30 uses so once again it is triple the durability um and once again you can buy colorful and outdoorsy um nets in uh tom nook's shop um but again don't last any longer than normal net so i honestly if you're a bit don't like to spend too much money i wouldn't waste your money buying them if i'm honest i would take the time to just make a load of them using your flimsy net and your iron nuggets and you're good to go for a long time and then the, the last one uh, for the nets i actually do not personally possess this um it is the golden net and it has 90 uses much like the golden fishing rod and you have to acquire this by catching every single bug in the game and I have not, I am missing one, which is the dung beetle, which will become available in December when it starts rolling around those little snowballs. So that is the last one I needed to catch. So once I've caught that, I will have the golden net, which will be exciting. But until then, I'm just stuck on normal net, which is all right. I do break a lot of them. But again, if you're not doing that much catching of bugs, it's not really much of a problem. And then next here we have the watering can. Now these come again in three slash four stages. You have the flimsy watering can, which if I believe, let me just fact check that gap. Yeah. So that requires only five soft wood and only lasts 20 uses. Now it is worth remembering guys, if you have um, water some flowers and they're already sparkling, if you then water those flowers again, it does not reduce the durability of your watering can because as flowers are already watered, you don't lose any of the durability. So it's actually kind of handy to know. So if you do accidentally water the same flowers twice, you haven't wasted your time. Well, you have wasted a little bit of time, but you haven't wasted your watering cans, which is important. Um, the next stage along is the normal watering can, which requires a flimsy watering can and an iron nugget. And this triples, once again, the durability of it. And uh, so therefore it lasts... 60 times which is very handy so there you go and then you can buy outdoorsy uh colorful elephant watering cans they all look very cute particularly elephant watering cans i do like those but once again they don't last any more than 60 so unless you're going for aesthetics i really wouldn't bother wasting your money buying them and then the final one is the golden watering can and this has 180 uses so this again is tripling the durability of the watering can you use one watering can and one golden nugget 
it's fabulous and you unlock this when you have got five stars on your island um you know, there are many other perks of getting five stars on your island but you do regret there, let me start again. You do receive the golden watering can recipe from Isabel when she first tells you that you've got five stars, and it is quite handy. And an added bonus is not only does it water more um, flowers for you, it waters, I believe, a, a three by three space. Um, it also allows you to produce golden roses. Um, there is a chance every time you water some black roses, there is a chance that you're now going to produce golden roses, which is really exciting. And it's the only way to produce them because as far as i'm aware watering more golden roses does not produce more golden roses just a little bit of a tip for you guys there and the last one is the slingshot for more of the breakable tools um so this one only has um two stages as it were so you've got the normal slingshot requires five hardwood and it lasts 20 yeah it lasts 20 uses yeah um so it's kind of handy but you can i know i get through them very easily um, it can be a bit frustrating, but once you have shot down, I believe, 300 balloons, you then will get a um, golden balloon with a present flying past. And if you shoot that one down, you will get the recipe for the golden slingshot. Now, have no fear. If you do miss the golden balloon flying past, it will come past again at another time. You haven't missed that one opportunity of getting it, but it is worth shooting it down because once again, it triples the durability and you then have 60 uses out of your golden slingshot, um, which is really cool. So those are all the breakable tools um, that you can get in Animal Crossing. Um, however, there are these two ones here. Um, they're very simple. I'm just going to um, briefly talk about them. You get them near the beginning uh, from, I believe, Blavers, um, when he wants to expand the search areas for finding more fish and bugs and fossils. Um, so you have the vaulting pole, uh, five soft wood to have that one, and that is unbreakable. And then you have the ladder, which does require a bit more. It requires four of each type of wood. And again, that is unbreakable. It's also worth noting, I believe, they're both unsellable. At least the ladder is definitely unsellable. So if you have a load of them and you think you'll get some money for it, you won't. You can't sell them. You just have a bit of a waste. But there you go. Not sure why they designed them that way, but I guess they just have. And I guess if you want to talk about other tools, you've got all the different ones um, here. I'm very lucky that I think I have most of the wand designs. I don't think I've got all of them. I'm not sure. Yeah, my guys might have to correct me on if you have some that I do not um but yeah and obviously these ones are the ones that you know you can wave it around you have different um edit one designs one designs edit outfits that you have and um you can then change into them i will if you guys want i can do a video on um how to create different wand outfits if that's what people want i'm more than happy to do that um but yeah those are all the different types of tools now i do have um a few tips um in general for tools when it comes to the normal net and the normal um so you got a screenshot here sorry let me just quickly get that while i'm talking if it comes to like the normal net the normal shovel the normal slingshot the normal basically all the normal kind of tools and you feel like you've used probably almost up to the maximum of its durability instead of thinking oh i'm probably gonna have to make another one there is a very um easy way of reading that and that is to customize them so you will notice if you have a look on the different tools you will have a little paintbrush on the top left hand corner of each card of these ones and that means you can customize them and change the color now people might think oh it's just changing the color but like i said it resets the durability so say for example you've got uh the what should we have the watering can here which i think had 60 60 uses and you've almost finished it and you really do not have any more um, iron nuggets to spare but you have loads of customization kits all you have to do is go to a crafting station customize that watering can to whatever color that it doesn't really matter and that durability would have been reset how awesome is that and that can actually save you a lot of materials save you a lot of time and potentially a lot of money if you prefer to buy the um outdoorsy and colorful ones um big pars when it comes to the outdoorsy and colorful you can't customize those ones um so if you have you know if you're really good at keeping on track if you have a watering can and you remember how many times you've watered roughly you can keep that watering can indefinitely if you're that organized which is something that um, some people like to do so there you go um i hope this video was helpful i hope 
I explain things properly. Once again, if I haven't, please leave comments down below with any further questions you might have for me. I'm more than happy to answer them. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!